years ago, a master showman cooked up a novel idea. And ever since then, the footprints of Hollywood's outstanding stars have been preserved in the concrete forecourt of Sid Gromer's famous Chinese theater. You'll find their reminders of many of yesterday's immortals. Now here, for instance, are the footprints and the gun prints of William S. Hart, one of the first great Western stars. On a nearby block of concrete, Jack Oakey left the tracks of his little tootsies. The footprints of Joan Crawford, a top flight star for more than 20 years, always draw the attention of the fans. In all, 125 screen stars are now honored in the forecourt of the Chinese. Now here are the prints and the signature of Irene Dunn. Yes, sir, Rita Hayward stepped here. Ah, a couple of years before she stepped into a new, real-life role as the princess of Ali Khan. How are the impressions taken? Well, our screen snapshot cameraman has been present on many such occasions. Now, let's have a look. Right jaw, folks, the guest of honor this occasion was me, Hal Joseph. Talking pictures were new then. <laughs> Don't be fooled by my clowning. When I saw the crowd that had gathered to watch me get dunked in the wet cement, I was as nervous as a prima donna in the opening night of a new opera. Well, after I'd given Sid uh, my autograph and had my hands washed, he told me it was time for the Jolson footprints to be preserved for posterity. And I objected to that. Having spent most of my life on my knees singing family songs, I thought knee prints would be more appropriate. So they agreed to knee print me. It was easier said than done, but done it was. Thanks to some expert assistance from Sid and his cement man. Well, sometime during the ruckus, I think that's the word, they managed to get one extra print, and I've always been sorry that the cement man blotted it out. You see, the way I had to use my knees, I need a spare. The cameraman was Johnny on the spot when the late Tom Mix and his wonder horse, Tony, arrived at the Chinese theater for a footprinting ceremony. Tony took the plunge first. Then Tom Mix, one of the greatest of all the screen's Western stars. He gave his fans a concrete souvenir to remember him by. And remembered he is by millions of admirers, many of whom have paused by the slab of cement to pay him tribute. Here with the late Sid Gorman, you see four of the zaniest comics that ever tickled America's funny bone. Right? They are the Marx Brothers, Groucho, Harpo, Chico, and Zeppo. And where this impulsive quartet gathered, anything would happen, and frequently did. Before inviting them to be footprinted, Groman undoubtedly doubled the insurance of the Chinese data. The Marx Brothers had been successful on the stage, but it was on the screen that they hit their peak. Their first two pictures made them into national favorites and shifted Groman's cement mixer into high gear. Yes, this is Harpo who's being immortalized at the moment. He's the only actor who ever became a talking picture star by refusing, absolutely, to utter a single word of dialogue. A very contrary fella. See?